This is Chris Kelly with just a few simple postural principles that you want to remember when performing your core complete program. Now first and foremost, core complete is not only about strengthening the abdominals and kind of developing muscle definition, but we, we want to stand up taller, hold ourselves in better positions and walk taller during the day. That's going to naturally flatten the stomach, help to optimize everything, open up our bodies and really help us to move and just look better, walk with confidence and that's an important thing. With that said, the majority of our day is spent sitting down. I mean, that is the reality of modern society. And with that in mind, it kind of becomes an issue of damage control. All right? So these are just a couple things that you can do uh, to really you know, minimize the poor posture, the back pain, uh, you know, the, the kind of deformity that forms you know, in our muscles, bones, and joints from just staying seated you know, 75 to 80% of the day. That's a pretty shocking statistic. With that said, the first thing that we want to think about doing, our first postural principle, is keep your abs on. Okay, what, we, what happens when we tighten our abs is that they form around or, or they tighten around our spine like a weight belt to help to support us and keep us sitting up tall. All right? what, what, by the same token, it, usually you know, during the day we're either slouched over or we're arching our back trying to stay in good posture, but we're not using you know, our natural weight belt to just keep us upright. So rather than trying to perform these extreme postures when you're sitting down, we just want to maintain just about a 20% abdominal contraction. So when I'm doing this, I'm just thinking about keeping my abs on slightly and eventually this is going to happen naturally but being able to breathe through this you know typing doing whatever it may be but just stopping every couple minutes maybe checking for 10 seconds just making sure that we're just contracting no more than 20 to 25 percent but just doing this at just certain points throughout the day you know maybe every 20 to 30 minutes just helps to keep our abs on it keep, uh, creates what's called reflective stability where they're just on and you know kind of doing their job um, you know and they kind of by the same token they turn off and we're in these extreme ranges of motion so just kind of reminding ourselves to do this to sit up tall to keep our abs tight you know to be able to breathe while doing this but at the same time you know, just about a 20% abdominal contraction really creates stiffness here and makes sure that uh, we're in the correct positions protecting our spine. Now, the second thing that we're looking for in this is be like the Buddha. Okay, and when I say this, you know, one thing that we see a lot is this internally rotated position where we're typing and we're like this all day, or we just start to sit like this, or, we're, you know, we're sitting in this posture. You know, I do this all the time, and I find that, like, when I'm doing this, you see that I've got kind of this hunchback situation going on. My shoulders are rounded, and at least it's caveman like posture. By the same token, when we externally rotate, meaning when we turn our arms out, kind of squeeze our shoulder blades together, it opens us up, it kind of creates a position of support, and it kind of keeps our bones and joints, again, it supports this upright position. So while it's kind of hard to type like this, if we keep the shoulders this way, we can turn the hands and, and still kind of keep this, our shoulders opened up. So the, the moral of the story here would be to just kind of maintain this position not to lean forward so our shoulders are coming forward excessively. You know, and again, every, every 15 to 20 minutes, do a posture check. Stop, externally rotate, open it up, and then just reassume your position. That really helps to create awareness and kind of gets us thinking about this, you know, and resets, um, you know, damage control every, you know, every, again, 15 to 20 minutes. Our third uh, principle along with these things is to move your body. Um, I keep saying 15 to 20 minutes because that's about the amount of time that it takes for our, our tissues to start to deform. When we're spending time in these in-range loading postures, meaning we're either here flexed over or we're extended back excessively, over about 20 minutes our tissues start to what we call creep or kind of lose their elasticity they're, so they're stuck in this position. You know, after that time, it takes a long time to kind of get back into this neutral spot. We start to feel stiff and um, inflexible, and that's kind of where this, like, this inherent stiffness of sitting down all day comes into play. In order to get around that, what we want to do is just stand up, kind of do what is called a deload about every 15 or tw about every 20 minutes. Just open the shoulders up. It's called a brooder posture, what I'm doing here. So I'm just practicing the things that I just talked about, our first two principles. Tightening my abs, just kind of opening this up. Taking deep breaths through my belly, kind of illuminating the stress breathing pattern here. And again, just opening everything up, kind of undoing what we do during the desk. And you only have to do this for about a minute. You know, set a clock for about 20 minutes, stand up to kind of deload. That allows just some breathing room for all the tissues of, you know, the hips, the spine, the low back, just kind of everything to kind of reset. And then, you, you know, you can sit down and kind of get back to whatever you're doing. Our, our fourth and final principle, and we see this with women a lot in particular, um, you know, some men like to do this, but that's another conversation, is uh, crossing our legs excessively or pushing our knees together. 
You know, a lot of uh, a lot of women in particular suffer from what is called uh, valgus knee valgus, meaning uh, the hips internally rotate excessively. We see hip weakness, lack of what is called external rotation. As we discuss, external rotation is what we're looking for here. So we want to just think about keeping the legs apart. Um, not sitting like a lady, I guess you could say, trying not to cross the leg excessively from one side to the other. And if you have to do so, try to spend equal time on each side. So if I'm, if I'm crossing my leg here for 10 minutes, I'm going to switch sides and do the other side. That's going to eliminate things like pelvic rotations, um, hip pain, different things like that that you might experience and kind of limiting factors ultimately for our program when we're performing our core exercises. So those are just a couple things to think about you know, as you're performing your program, but be conscious of what you're doing throughout the day. Um, you spend 90% of your time, 80% of your time in this posture. It is going to kind of be the way you end up, you mold throughout the years. So keep that in mind, uh, adopt better postures, and uh, you're going to get fantastic results in addition to a program.